In this video, I'm going to share with you three tips on how to keep your feet warm in the cold, whether you're camping, hiking, backpacking, or adventuring. And this is related to boot management. How do you keep your feet warm considering your boots? Well, that's why you're watching this video. Tip number one, when you get to camp and you get in your tent and you're all set to go, don't just leave your boots outside. Just let them sit there because they will turn to solid chunks of ice. I've had subscribers tell me, oh my gosh, thank you so much for telling me this. I've done that, left my boots outside and they're frozen. But not just that, take the liner out of your boot. Get that liner out of your boot. And the moment you've got that liner out of your boot, you know what to do with that liner? Unzip it, your jacket, stuff the liner in your jacket, zip your jacket up. That very wet liner, and trust me, after a day of hiking around or climbing, it's going to be wet. You unzip your jacket and you put that gross wet liner in there. Ah, <laughs> you smell your liner, it's gonna be gross. But by putting it in your jacket, the heat from your body, you are worth a 100 watt old school incandescent light bulb, not the LEDs. That heat from your body will dry your boot liners out. And in the morning, you can stuff those bad boys back in your boots and you'll be good to go. If they're still wet, I actually leave my boot liners in my sleeping bag with me and I put them in my boots at the last second. That way I make sure my boot liners are completely dry. Otherwise those boot liners were turned to ice. Then you will have a solid sheet of ice on your boot or in your boot that you're enjoying hiking around in all day. Tip number two, use a vapor barrier liner if you need to. Literally, there are fancy socks. I have the seal skin socks, or some people literally put their feet in their socks and then in a grocery sack. Or the most popular method is a bread bag. And you literally put your foot inside this bag with this liner on, and it will keep your feet incredibly warm. Now, I don't use this technique because there's a corollary of I don't like wet feet. You have to balance the value between keeping your feet super warm by using a plastic vapor barrier liner of some sort, and believe me, it keeps your feet incredibly warm, but the consequence is that your feet will also become wet because the transpiration from your feet that's supposed to go into the environment is now trapped, so your feet are going to become clammy. So if you're standing around for a while, you're actually gonna get cold. So the vapor barrier liner is kind of a love sort of hate thing. Some people swear by them, other people don't. Me personally, I don't like them. I have used them a few times, but eh. So that's something you need to try out for yourself. Tip number three, and maybe you didn't ever think of this, but when you get to camp, and again, just like I said earlier, you take out your liner or the footbed, but what do you do about your boot that is all sweaty? <laughs> I've got a solution for that. Well, when you're making your water and you're boiling up your water, or you're melting your snow and then boiling your water, get your Nalgene completely full of boiling hot water. Make sure to handle it with your gloves. Make sure not to spill that boiling water on your hand because that sucks. Seal up this container. Turn it sideways always to make sure to check for leaks because ice gets on the thread and that will cause leaks which soaks everything. And then put that piping hot Nalgene bottle in your boot and jam that bad boy in there as far as you can. And that way it will warm up your boot. You don't have to leave it in your outdoor research super insulator, that's another story. But by putting that hot water bottle in your boot, your boot will actually begin steaming and that hot water will drive out the heat or the moisture in your boot. Now some people might complain that, oh no, that's going to ruin my uh, thermoforming like I did with my ski boots, my backcountry ski boots. If I put that hot water bottle in there, will that really wreck the thermoforming in my boot? No, because those heat like cores that you put your boot on are crazy, crazy hot. Your boiling water bottle will not wreck your boot. Now, if you come sue me because you say, you ruined my $800 ski boots, hey. This is on you, you're out there on your own. Do your own tests, talk to manufacturers. But I have had great success
with using hot water bottles jammed into my boots, watching the steam emanate from them. And in the morning, I put on cool, dry boots and that keeps my feet warm. I wrote the book on how to keep your feet warm in the cold. This book, check out links below in the description, will tell you over 100 tips on how to keep your feet warm in the cold. I know. I spent over three months skiing alone to the South Pole. Check out my other book. I got a lot of books. Check out links in the description. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and professional adventurer. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel so you can get more info like this.